Okay, so if you watched our last video, you'll know that we uh, attempted to bring an, a, what I thought was a dead motherboard back to life. It wasn't actually dead. Um, we took out the battery to put it in an older system we built for my aunt. And when we put a new battery in, it had cleared the CMOS, I think. So all we had to do was update the date and all that. And the motherboard seems to be working fine now. Uh, we have an FX 4300 in it. And... We're going to put it in this system. Uh, we built this system a couple of months back, I think. What was in here was um, a 750Ti and an Athlon 860K. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what happens when you uh, replace your CPU and motherboard. Because if you don't know, sometimes Windows will reject it. Well, not reject it, but you know, it'll... Um, it'll Give give up a, give up a fuss about it about you changing your hardware and stuff because Windows sometimes usually tends to bond to the motherboard and when you change that it doesn't like it. So I'm just gonna pop this uh, power supply back in because uh, we took it out to power up the motherboard when we were trying to fix it. So I'm gonna put this back into the case and I'm back when I'm finished all this. So that's the power supply in and while I was at it I took out all the leads like the front I/O and stuff from. Uh, for this motherboard, just cut down how long it's going to take to make this video. Because I, I need another computer to back up and running. Taking that I.O. play out, and then we're going to put the one for the motherboard we're putting in, into the case. These can be frustrating at times, but I think just kind of pushing on each corner usually gets them in. That's in there. Now we're just going to work out what standoffs we need to add in, and we'll be back to you when that's sorted out. So it turned out we actually don't need to put in any standoffs. All the standoffs we need are already in there. So. So, the motherboard's in, and now I'm going to change the CPU cooler. Just tip it up so that I can maybe a chance that we should have put this on before we put the motherboard in because the um the cutout in the back is not all that big. You can see the um holds it there and we still have to get a little bit over that in so we're gonna have to take the motherboard out put this on and put it back in which is a bit of a pain but it's all in the day's work so CPU is cleared off and I have just a little bit of thermal paste on there around a pea size in roughly the middle of the CPU and we have our CPU cooler here this is just gonna go down onto it like so so there's the cooler installed see the back plate 
and the actual cooler itself that I'm holding. I also installed the RAM in the board. And now we have to put all this back into the case. So I was meant to only do the wiring and I, I kind of did everything. I'm not feeling the best today and I just kind of want to get this done to be honest. So graphics card the 550Ti is in uh, we'll probably sell it like that we were going to get a better one but if we can just sell it as is it'll be fine and um, everything's wired up uh, this motherboard actually has USB 3 unlike the old one so we have uh, all these wires in the back up power and internet keyboard and mouse and HDMI and if you look at the screen there is no signal until I press this out on button and it turns on which is turning on now you might be able to hear it already gone one step further than it did without anything else so my main worry was that it was going to just boot up into the BIOS and do nothing else it seems as though it's going to do a little bit more oh, I'm after hitting my hand on something that hurt Resolution will have to be changed, alright, but then again, this is a relatively old graphics card. And. oh yeah. I hope that's right now, I look like an idiot on camera. So maybe Windows 10 doesn't mind you changing parts. Which, to be honest, is about time, considering if you're going to be putting Windows on a system, most likely you've built it. And if you've built your system, you're most likely going to be changing parts. And if you're going to be changing parts all the time, like most people do like to do, you'd want um, stuff that can just do what you want. This is really nice, which means I don't have to get rid of anything, like, like, especially as those um, the Fallout 4 mods I have and stuff are annoying as all hell, hell to install and reset the game like three times in order to get them to work. I have hiccups now, help. Oh god. So, the only thing we have to do is change the resolution to get it to work on this screen, but it's going in my room anyway, so it'll be on a normal... 720p screen, which means it's not really needed, but it seems as though it worked. Um, well, I guess you can try and add me, add me on Steam if you want. If you want on it, or if I can't speak. If you want to add me on Steam, then um, go ahead. I don't really mind. That's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I like this computer.